Hey guys, what's happening? Um, it's quite a nice-ish view from outside my bedroom window. There's a bit of cloud around, but there's uh, some sunlight peeping through, so I suppose it's better than not having any at all, I guess. Anyway, this video is going to be based on my Pure Pure collection. And um, as you can see, I'm going to start off with my old figurine that I um, purchased a little while back. Uh, I really do like this figure. It complements my desk very well, as you can see. You've got the Wii Sense Bar, the TV, the Wii with some <laughs> bottles. I really haven't been bothered to um, dispose of them in the recycling set. But was it? we'll move away from this little kitty thing here. Happy birthday, all. And we'll go straight into it. <laughs> uh, there's quite a bit of stuff here, actually. We've got a couple of plushies, lots of games, a couple of music CDs, and um, a couple of books, and some other merchandise. Now, I do have some loose carts, obviously. I don't have boxes for all the, or cases for all of my stuff, but, um, yeah, this is pretty much what I've got. So, um, let's go in and um, take a look. We'll start off down here. We've got a Pure Pure, a Pure Pure Tsu, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. All of these are for the Sega Mega Drive. Now... Mean Bean Machine is the first Pure Pure game released um, in the West. It was released in 1993. Um, pretty much the same as Pure Pure for the Mega Drive. Of course, we have a look in here. We've got the cart and we've got the instruction manual, which is always very good. And Pure Pure 2, we've got the cart and the manual. Very nice. We'll move over to the Game Gear stuff. We've got here Pure Pure and Pure Pure 2. Now, um, Pure Pure on the Game Gear, there was indication from Compile and Sega that this game was going to be released on the Game Gear outside of Japan because when you slot this in and power it up, it's got the English title of Puzzle Kids and all the text is in English, which is relatively strange. It beats the Pure Pop name, if I'm perfectly honest with you, because I think that name is just dull and boring, but it's, it's quite a nice game. It, it plays very well, looks good, sounds great. And that's the same. Plays very well, looks good, sounds great. Here we've got the Saturn collection. Now I'm mostly missing a few, but I'll, I'll summarise that at the end. We've got a uh, Pure Pure Stu for the um, Sega Saturn. This is a replenished copy. Um, the copy I did have, I gave to, um, to my best friend uh, for her 21st birthday. So here we go, we've got the disc and the manual in here. And I've got two copies of uh, Pure Pure Sun for the Saturn. This one's a normal copy which obviously comes in the case. <laughs> You've got the, the disc here and the instruction manual. Uh, but this one has got here for Sega Net. Now this is the X-Band version, which um, if I remember rightly, only very few copies of these were actually sold. And um, this allowed you to play a uh, Tizen mode, you know, two player online. So, and again, got the disc, it says here, Sega Net and all that lot. And, Quite a nicer um, book, instruction book. Anyway, so that's the Saturn offerings. We'll go to the Dreamcast now. I've only got two at the moment. I've yet to get a Pure Pure Fever for Dreamcast, but this is a Pure Pion, Pure Pure 4, which in my opinion is the best version of the game until 7's release, which will be next Thursday. And um, as you can see, got the disc and the instruction booklet. And there are wallpapers on here as well, which if, if you put it into your uh, PC, you could um, get wallpapers from it. So it's, it's pretty good. And this is a Pure Pure Da. This is a rhythm game. Um, it would be excellent if it used a dance map, but it doesn't. You just use um, up, down, left, right, or the four colour buttons on your Dreamcast pad. Of course, you've got the disc here and the instruction book. And we'll move over here to the albums that I've got. I've got the Pure Pure Sun DX um, original soundtrack. Now this is quite good. Now I've kept it in the case. So I really do like this. It's got all, all the tracks there. Comes with the inlet. The inlet for um, some of the songs in there like um, uh, I Miss You by Katsumi Tanaka. The lyrics are in there. Obviously it's in Japanese so don't ask me what they are because I cannot translate. <laughs> and um, this is Bio N, the mega tracks of uh, Pure Pure CD. And you're thinking, hmm, Pure Pure CD. Was there ever a CD version released? Yes, there was, and I'll come on to that straight in a minute. It doesn't have the um, booklet or the uh, or the front inlet, but it's quite nice. It was a bargain, so I went ahead and got for it. And we'll move here now to the 
the PC Engine offerings. We've got Pure Pure CD and Pure Pure CD Su. Not Pure Pure Su CD, Pure Pure CD Su. Now, um, that's it. This is actually pretty nice. So you've got the disc there and the instruction manual. The good thing about this version is it has um, fully voiced uh, monologues. No, sorry, uh, very uh, can't speak now. <laughs> yeah. Fully voiced um, transitions. All the man's eye demos are fully voiced. Um, it's quite nice. It plays very well. Um, plays quite solidly actually. Um, even though um, the graphics aren't as good as what they are on the other versions, it's still really nice. And Pure CD Su has a couple of extra things added to it. A couple of quest modes that you could do. You just go over it over and over. The graphics are nice, the music is good, the man's eye dialogues are voiced as you'd expect. And it's a really good version actually. And so pleased to have um, picked both of these up. Let's see what we've got. We've got a few more minutes, so I'm going to move over now to the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy offerings now. We've got here Mina de Pio Pio, which um, people know as a pro pop. This is a sub-story, kind of like happens in between um, Sun and Eon, I think. I'm not, not entirely sure on that, but it's got characters from both sets, so <laughs> you kind of like think yay nay or whatever. But it's, it's a nice game, um, pretty good, pretty solid game. It's the only game made by Sega in the Pure Pure series which actually uses the original cast before they moved on to this one, which is Pure Pure Fever. And this is for the Game Boy Advance. This is quite a nice game, pretty solid, plays very well. Um, I've got no qualms with it, it's a, it's a pretty decent game. And we've got here the Game Boy section, we'll start with um, Pure Pure, which um, comes in the case. Let's see if I can <laughs> open this with very dodgy camera work. <laughs> there we go. Got the game in the case here. And instruction booklet. You see, same here with uh, pockets pure pure two. Now I will let you in on this. Um, this is one for the collection, uh, pocket pure pure for the Game Boy. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's not a very good version. It's very tacky, very stiff, just not very good. Whereas this one, pocket pure pure two, is a massive improvement. Got the game here, instruction book, registration card. It's this, I love this game, it's really, really good. I've got here Pocket Pure Pure Sun. Uh, it's a bit blurry, I'll just bring it up to here. So Pocket Pure Pure Sun. This is a really sweet game. It is a really, really good game on Game Boy Color. And um, Pocket Pure Pure On, which in my opinion is probably the best version because um, as you're playing through the game, you get to unlock character specials in a um, special quest. Uh, you can choose what special you want to use once you've unlocked them before you go into a game. And when you counter during a game, some Puyos will fall. So it's got a nice, nice blend, nice mix there. Anyway, um, this is uh, part one of um, the Puyo collection I'll do. I'll upload another video of the second part pretty soon. So uh, thanks for watching. Peace.